you will look at the skills gap in manufacturing differently by the end of this video. What can a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, and a chiropractor teach you about your machine shop? Ah, uh, you might be thinking those white collar can't teach you anything and you'd be dead wrong. And the answer might kind of surprise you. I was reading the Harvard Business Review. I came across an article that started talking about people that are naturally keeners that believe in continuing their education, all that kind of stuff, which personally really applies to me. I've been lit up about that since I was like yay tall. And in the article, it outlines that when it comes to natural learners, like lifelong learners, people that will learn under their own direction, they will take the courses, read the books, do the studying, and always endeavor to be better than the human they were the, the day before. That that only accounts for about 10% of the world population. So you might be wondering, oh, what's, what's the nine, other 90%? The other 90% are people that just simply will not. Zero desire. They will just keep coasting through and that's, uh, that's, that's where they're happy to be. Now, there's, this isn't a good, bad, right or wrong kind of conversation. Just the difference that's there. So what, what can a doctor, a lawyer, a masseuse, a chiropractor, an accountant teach machine shops? All of these professions have something in common. They have mandatory continuous education. Those organizations all realized the, the same thing that the Harvard Business Review article was talking about, that only about 10% of people are going to keep improving themselves of their own volition, right? Under their own power of their own choosing. Could you imagine a world where only 10% of the accountants were worth anything? Only 10% of the doctors were reliable? Things are always changing in those professions. Every year, accountants have to keep up to date on different tax codes and different exceptions and what's tracked where. I don't know, I'm not an accountant, but I'm glad that my accountant has mandatory training every year. You know, it, there was a time when doctors used to prescribe bleeding and they believed that the body was ruled by humors, right? The continuous advancement, it's great. It happens all the time. And then you look at something like your machine shop and you look at the hundreds or tens of thousands of new tools that come out every year, the new coatings, the new substrates, the new technologies, the new geometries, the new, the new machines, the new CAD CAM packages, the new softwares within those CAD CAM packages. And then you think about the fact that 90% of your workforce is never going to want to keep up with it unless it's mandatory. I just can't help but think that manufacturing would be so much better if more companies had practices in place that made that training and development mandatory. It's already done in so many other professions because they saw the detriment to those professions without it being mandatory. And I keep hearing about the lack of skilled workers, the, the, the skills gap, the, all of the gripes and the moaning and the complaining. And this is something you could do about it. If you can't find skilled workers and you have good in-house training programs, you can just hire and train. You could hire based on attitude and train them up like so many other professions do now. So, food for thought, things to ponder, and until next time, keep your spindles turning and earning. <laughs> God. <laughs> Sorry, that intro. <laughs>